chromosomal abnormalities uh, usually lead to spontaneous abortion or miscarriage um, if they are on autosomes, um, which is anything other than sex uh, chromosomes. Uh, when when uh, there's a chromosomal alteration on sex chromosomes, uh, the baby will still be born, but will have uh, one of several syndromes. This is in animals. Plants, on the other hand, uh, can tolerate uh, genetic alterations uh, much better than animals do. So um, plants could be trisomy or, or tetrasome, um, where they have uh, three of each chromosome or more. And this just leads to uh, um, different varieties of, of fruit um, rather than um, spontaneous abortion or miscarriage like like in animals. Um, one of the causes for uh, abnormal chromosome number is uh, chromosomal non-disjunction. Uh, so if, um, if the chromosomes don't separate properly, then uh, some of the gametes will have uh, too many chromosomes, while other gametes might have uh, too few. Um, when fertilization happens, uh, then you would have the wrong number of chromosomes. So you're supposed to have one of each chromosome um, in each of the two gametes, uh, resulting in a complement of, of two chromosomes for, for each uh, of the chromosomes. Um, if uh, the gamete um, has a chromosomal non-disjunction, um, during meiosis one, um, then all would would have the wrong number of chromosomes, or in meiosis two, where half of the the gametes have the wrong number of chromosomes. So, um, if it happens during meiosis one, then all four of the gametes would have the wrong number of chromosomes. Two of them would have too many, and two of them would have too few. It happens during meiosis two, which is less often, but it can still happen, then 50% uh, of the gametes would have the wrong number and 50% would be normal. And it's just um, statistical which of the gametes uh, ends up being the one that uh, uh, gets fertilized and results in uh, the, the baby. So, um, so if this happens on an autosome, then, uh, then baby will not develop correctly, um, with the exceptions of chromosome 21, Down syndrome, chrom chromosome 13, uh, which is Patau syndrome, and chromosome 18, which is Edwards syndrome. If it happens on one of the sex chromosomes, then it can result in um, one of many different uh, syndromes, including Turner's, uh, which is the only monosomy, um, Kleinfelter's, which is XXY, uh, super male, which is XYY, and super female, which is XXX. We call any uh, resultant fertilized gamete uh, that has the wrong number of, of chromosomes due to non disjunction, we call them aneuploid. So, offspring with uh, this condition have abnormal number of chromosomes and therefore the uh, syndrome. So like I said, uh, in, in plants, uh, this is uh, more tolerated um, where you could have uh, triploid or tetraploid. But in animals, when you are uh, missing a chromosome, we call that uh, monosomy. So, so like Turner's, is uh, where you only have one X chromosome and no Y and no complement X, we call that uh, monosomy X. Or um, in the case of like Down syndrome, where you have three chromosome 21s, we call that trisomy 21. So trisomy 21 is, is Down, trisomy 13 is uh, Patel, trisomy 18
is Edwards. Um, and then you could also be trisomy at, at the sex chromosomes. Uh, polyploid of 3N or 4N in plants uh, leads to different varieties. Uh, it's fairly common. Um, all of your uh, seedless grapes or seedless watermelons or uh, strawberries are famously um, uh, tetraploid. So um, uh, the commercial strawberries. So um, polyploids uh, are um, normal in appearance, um, more normal than aneuploid, uh, where they're just missing one chromosome. In addition to uh, non-disjunction, other chromosomal abnormalities could, uh, could change the structure of the chromosomes. For instance, you could have a deletion, a duplication, and an inversion. So what does a deletion look like? A large section of the chromosome is just missing. Um, then you would um, only have one copy of all of the genes that are in that section. Also, if it happens across a gene where the, the area where the deletion starts or stops happens uh, uh, across a gene, then that gene would be knocked out. Um, so you could also have uh, gene duplication or chromosome uh, section, a section could be duplicated. And when that happens, um, very often, uh, because you have a perfectly good uh, gene in that, that duplicated section, the other gene um, is no longer under um, natural selective control and so um, could be uh, could result in uh, new genes. Um, this is how we go from from like say uh, one neuroligand gene in worms to four in mice to five in humans. Um, you could have an inversion which is a section of the chromosome uh, gets flipped around. Um, here, for the most part, that entire chromosome uh, would still be working with the exception of any genes that span the, uh, the, the break where uh, the inversion happened. So uh, the, any gene that spanned the AB region, version, uh, C there, um, would be knocked out. And then you'd only have uh, one copy on the uh, chromosome that doesn't have an inversion. Um, and so this, uh, this um, silencing of those genes would be uh, passed down. It would be inherited. Um, um, gamete subsequent fertilization. You could also have a translocation where a chunk of one chromosome gets attached to a, a chunk of a different chromosome. A famous example of this is the Philadelphia chromosome, where um, a portion of chromosome 22 and a portion of chromosome 9 have swapped places. And the reason that that is famous is because it leads to chronic myeloid leukemia because a uh, um, gene spans the, uh, the translocation uh, break point. And so um, the housekeeping gene of B cell receptor, uh, the first half of that gets attached to a cell signaling molecule and causes a, a chimeric protein called BCR able um, that, that the B, B cell receptor is now um, driving a uh, cell signaling um, receptor. Um, and, and so those, those B cells are always dividing. That's why it causes chronic myeloid leukemia. Uh, that's the Philadelphia chromosome. So, so uh, there are disorders that are associated with chromosomal alterations. Um, I mentioned a couple, but there are um, most, most are uh, going to be uh, sorted out by uh, spontaneous abortion or, or miscarriage, um, but they could be in genetic balance. For instance, um, if 
if there's an inversion, um, all of those would be uh, all of those genes would still be there. Um, it would also be balanced if you had a translocation, but then you got um, uh, in that particular gamete um, both of the ones that uh, had changed. If you have then um, the chromosome nine that has a portion of chromosome 22 on it, uh, you would have lots of M, N, and O. You'd be trisomy for that, but you would be not um, a monosomy for um, for sections A and B. So, so that's the the idea of balance. If you get the the two that were translocated, you would still be balanced, and and so it wouldn't necessarily. Uh, uh, result in in any abnormality, although you could hand down that translocation to your children. I already mentioned that trisomy 21 happens in one out of every 700 children, and I'm sure that all of you have met Down syndrome individual. Folks with Down syndrome have um, several um, um, risk factors for things like uh, heart disease or, or um, uh, diabetes, um, and they also have uh, developmental delays and and um, uh, mental uh, delay. Um, so they are they are um, um, the the syndrome is is fairly profound. Um, I also mentioned uh, trisomy 18 and 13. So I'm sure that most of you have met somebody with Down syndrome um, who, as you can see there at 21, has three copies of chromosome 21. Um, you, uh, being aneuploid on sex chromosomes happens a, a little bit more frequently. Um, so XXY is called Kleinfelter's and has a syndrome associated with it, like, for instance, gyne uh, gynecomastia, um, um, or uh, female breasts, even though you are XY and therefore male, uh, of uh, uh, pubic hair patterns or uh, small testicle size, um, long arms and legs, wide hips. Uh, the only aneuploid that uh, uh, survives um, uh, during ontogeny is Turner syndrome or monosomy on the X. Um, there's also uh, androgen insensitivity, um, where you develop as a female, even though you are XY. Um, uh, triple X syndrome, XYY, or super male syndrome. Um, and so these are all um, possibilities. Um, others, like uh, a specific deletion of uh, chromosome 5, is called cri de chez, um, or cry of the cat. Um, chronic myeloid leukemia, I already mentioned, um, is due to a trans, uh, specific translocation called the uh, Philadelphia chromosome, where a portion of nine is um, translocated onto uh, chromosome 22 and vice versa. And the chromosome 22 um, has the B cell receptor on, um, uh, information on it, um, driving a cell um, cell cycle, um, uh, cellular communication receptor, or cell signaling receptor, and uh, that's called the BCR able uh, protein, um, causes the B cells to constantly be in cell division. Um, so uh, there are other uh, exceptions to Mendelian genetics, like for instance, um, genes that are not involved in the nucleus. And so those would be uh, any genes that, um, that are um, in the mitochondria or in plants in the mitochondria or uh, chloroplasts. Those, uh, those genes um, are located outside of the nucleus and therefore um, are not uh, subject to Mendelian. You always get those genes from your mom. Um, so uh, in addition to that, uh, genomic imprinting or adding uh, methyl groups like we saw during X inactivation is another way um, 